Let me tell you a story. One of my friends was sick and tired with his corporate job. He was praying to God, Oh God, give me a long holiday. He was longing for extended weekends. And God gave us COVID. During this lockdown period due to COVID, Dholadhar range was visible from Chandigarh itself. Mighty Kanchanjanga was visible for days together, for days together from doers, that is foothills. And why this occurred? This occurred due to low pollution. So by this COVID and lockdown, our world rebooted. Mother Nature healed herself. So what about this COVID? Everybody knows something about COVID right now. I will uh, go into not uh, I will not go into details of this pathophysiology or epidemiology of this COVID. I will just uh, 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 run through the slides. COVID is a uh, is called, caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus. This was recently developed, discovered severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus two. This is not new. We had SARS-CoV virus before. We also had MERS-CoV virus, but this is novel coronavirus. Why this is novel coronavirus? Because this is new. What what is new in this virus? In this virus, there is a typical spike protein, which is causing devastation to human health. What are the symptoms? Many of us know right now, there are fever, chills, body ache, coughing, sneezing, dry cough, wet cough and one typical symptom we encountered as doctors for this COVID situation is gastrointestinal problems. Many of the, my patients came to me with GI problems, diarrhea and they were subsequently diagnosed to have COVID. What about epidemiology? India came second in the list of affection. First was USA, second was India, third is Brazil followed by Russian Federation and UK. In spite of being the most populous, second most populous country in the world, India was not affected that much thanks to our immunity or something like that which will be revealed in years to come by scientists. Why? In spite of being the second most populous country in the world, the number of cases was relatively low in India. Who are at high risk? Elderly people, people with comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, or other respiratory diseases, cancer patients, obese patients. They are being affected more and more with this COVID infection. What is the pathogen? As I, as I showed you, as I told you, the pathogen is SARS-CoV-2 virus. And one important and uh, typical thing of this SARS-CoV-2 virus is Pangolins have been described to have a putative intermediate host in this case of a COVID virus. This is a very busy slide. You need not to bother about this, about pathophysiology and different uh, uh, drugs where it, it works. As a rule, you can say that COVID viruses attacks our respiratory system followed by the circulatory system leading to widespread infection, leading to septicemia, septic shock and death. 
what is the current treatment strategies in, uh, in, in case of COVID viruses. In most cases, in the mild cases that you can, we can treat the patients at our home. But in complicated cases, if there is respiratory distress, if there is low oxygen saturation, we have to ship the patient to a uh, hospital. In hospital also, many of the patients are being cured by supportive therapies like saline, oxygen, like this. But some of my patients, some of the patients need additional treatments like antiviral drugs and respiratory support by ventilator or so on and so on and so forth. How it spreads? By direct contact and by aerosol. It can be, it can be, it can come from other person by sneezing, coughing and by direct contact also. It also, this virus also spreads through respirations. And if you uh, congregate in a closed space, your chance of getting COVID is more in comparison to an open space. So avoid being in a closed space with lot of people. Now, the hot topic, vaccines. There are many vaccines, Pfizer vaccines, AstraZeneca vaccines and our own Indian vaccine. Our own Indian vaccine has been named as uh, Covaxin. This has been uh, developed by our uh, Bharat Biotech and, and, and ICMR, that is Indian Council of Medical Research. Another vaccine has been approved by Indian government that is AstraZeneca vaccine. So we have got, in, as Indian, in India right now, we have got two vaccines in our hand. One is AstraZeneca vaccine, another is uh, then our, our own research, research uh, developed by Bharat Biotech. Now there are a number of vaccines are in pipeline. They are in, they are in different stages of, of development. They are going through different stages of uh, trials. There are different trials for any new drug or vaccine to say. They are either they are in phase 1, phase 2 or phase 3. So in near future, we will have many vaccines in our hand. So don't, don't, uh, nothing to be worried about this. Now, talking about new strain. Everybody is talking about new strain which has been, uh, uh, which has been uh, invented or discovered in UK particular. What is this new strain? The new strain has been uh, uh, found out in UK. There are two particular diff uh, typical things of this new strain. One is the spike protein of that COVID virus is different in this new strain. And second one is that the receptor, the type of receptor uh, on which this COVID virus attaches in human cell are, are a bit different in case of new strain. But scientists are, uh, are, are in continuous research mode to, sh to see whether there are other differences with the older strain. But one thing I want to say you, this SARS-CoV-2 virus also to say any virus like influenza virus, they, they, they go on changing their, their, their uh, configurations. For that reason, we have to give different other uh, annual shots of influenza vaccine to our elderly population. One shot of influenza vaccine is not enough in case of elderly population. We have to repeat it every year as Every year, the influenza virus that is common cold or, or the, the old influenza virus, they have got newer strains. Like this, SARS-CoV-2 virus has got a new strain which has come up from UK. What about, what is new about this uh, mutation? This mutation caused the SARS-CoV-2 virus more, more uh, infectious, so to say. But Infectivity doesn't mean more deadly these viruses are. 
they spread faster than the older strain but that doesn't mean they will kill more people these two are different you must be very clear in this why this variant is causing concern three things are coming together that mean it is attracting attention one is is rapidly replacing the older strain and they are mutating fast due to fast mutation they are infecting many people and if they infect many people more and more people that will cause a, a, a burden on the hospitals the hospitals bed will be will, will be uh, uh, there will be problem that many people will need hospitalization there is no evidence to suggest that this uh, infection is more deadly they are more infectious but they are not causing more death it is very very clear but scientists are doing their work on this where has it come from it has come from uk primarily one page from one patient's body it has mutated to different forms and they are coming they are uh, infecting many people will the covid-19 vaccine still work on the new strain this is this is the golden question at this moment from today this is a very auspicious day 16th january 2021 from today india government had started vaccination our vaccination movement against covid has started today many of some of my friends has been already vaccinated so the question is will this new uh, uh, strain is uh, uh, the is 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 uh, uh, the new the vaccine will whether this vaccine will be effective for this new strain scientists say that there is no evidence there is no evidence that the vaccines will not be effective on this new strain because through this covid vaccine we are giving active immunity to our people so our body will change its it, its 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 uh, 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 its uh, strategy to uh, uh, to work against the uh, sars cov2 vaccine though there is a mutation so there is no cause of worry worry right now will the covid-19 vaccine still work the new strain yes as i said earlier right now there is no plan that a new vaccine should be developed so are there additional covid-19 precautions to be taken for this new strain no do whatever you are doing face mask use mask social distancing and hand hygiene these are enough these are enough to uh, fight against this new strain is the new covid-19 strain affecting children more frequently than other strains there is no evidence there is no evidence that this new covid strain will be deadlier or more infectious in case of uh, 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 children so uh, what should we do after this new strain what should we do do whatever you are doing maintain social distancing frequent hand washing and hand washing you need not always use sanitizers simple soap water is is adequate enough uh, for this for for preventing this sars cov2 infection and avoid uh, social gathering in a closed space social distancing is very very important and if it is poss- if it if possible don't go to a market where there is slaughterhouse or a live uh, animals are being slaughtered like this because there is a presumption that this sars cov2 virus has originated from a animal market on yuhan of china this is a presumption so better not to go to a market where there is live live uh, uh, uh thing is going on or there are slaughter houses so you need not to worry about this new strain we have vaccine in our hand 
I think world will bloom again. Ag din jhar theme jabe, prithibi abar shant hobe. Thank you all.